you don't have to rush level 7 with Cruel Pact anymore. So what happened was, since multicast became far too strong, most people just rush 6 and roll for those 2 or 3 cost 2 stars first. I mean if you think about it, Cruel Pact to rush level 6 is still 34 to 38 gold, which is still way higher than 23 gold from Hedge Fund. And if you level to level 6 fast, you can actually take the multicast before anyone else has a chance to roll for them. So the timing to use this strategy is when 2 or 3 cost carries are stronger than 1, 4, or 5 cost carries. Like this multicast meta right now. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys exactly how you're supposed to play a cruel packed rush level 6 strategy step by step. You farmed 100 LP with multi? Yo, I, I recommend spamming ASAP right now because by tomorrow or in two days, everybody else is going to pick up. Flex plays. Cloak. Cruel pack to hit level 6 and then spam multicast? Uh, 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 uh. Or do I want the tactician's tools? Ah, oh, this will be good later in the game. Not right now, though. Yo, I will show you guys how to play this comp. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. I'm gonna spam multicast now. Beautiful. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Big bro, I'm sorry. Bill Nee, three zero five six A's with Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much, man. You'll find it. I nice have you. Welcome, so welcome. Yo, I'm sorry. Please don't beat me. If you beat me, I'm gonna be really sad. I'm gonna be very sad if you beat me. Come on, come on, come on. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Stop it. Bad Poppy. Bad Poppy. Evil Poppy. Okay. <laughs> oh man, dude. I'm so sorry. Hate poppies, dude. I mean, thankfully, thankfully, the good thing about my situation is that since I'm rolling for two cost units, I actually have a lot, a lot of luxury, right? That's a good thing, but <laughs> oh, that felt so bad, dude. My lord. Uh, at least we'll be able to win now, though. That's a good thing, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna go for a multicast like a composition. I only use Cruel Pack to hit level 6 fast, that's it. Yo, I never used Cruel Pack for a 6 rush before. This is kind of cool. This is a really cool strat. Multicaster. Good, good. Sell for Econ. Alright. That's the only issue. I could get a rod after this. Or do I want tank items first? Nah, I want Ionics first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want the Ionics. This guy's going for Chogoth. Okay. Come on, team. Stop losing. I don't want to be a loser. Okay, nice shots. And healing or more damage? Rod, rod, give me a rod. Yo, yo, check it. I want that rod. I got the priority at the red D. Booyah. I want the Ionics value. I could have gone for a tier and a Galio pair as well too. Both are fine. I have no issues with either. Is anyone like really strong? It's a prismatic log. Oh, this guy's strong. This guy can beat me too. First place is really strong. That's Fiora, dude. Fiora do better. <laughs> Wait, what? What is? What? I have two Fioras. Like what? Well, my comp is so expensive. Keep it going. Why do Velcons have a little icon? The icon means that you put the unit in your planner. So these use swap icons in my shop in the future. They change it like this, Patch, that's why. Okay, 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 okay. This works, this works, this works. Good job, Fiora. 
I was worried about this guy, but getting the third multicast and the radiant itemization onto Fiora was definitely worth it. How did I lose on 2 1? Oh! I mean, I was afraid that I'd be too strong, so I had to give my opponent advantage. Mm 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 mm. It's not fun if the fight is like, you know, one side or right. Mm mm. Oh, nice, nice, nice good work. Okay, we got a fair amount of econ. We're still level six. We can actually hit level seven whenever you want as well, too, but we're not we're probably not gonna rush seven though, are we? I mean I could go for a Velkos carry instead. I really don't know if that is better. 40, 40 HP to level up though, huh? But if you do hit level seven, it's probably gonna be a four cost two star carry to like game after, so it's probably not recommended. Nice. Okay, goodbye, girl. Goodbye, girl. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Velkos actually top tier in the meta. Wow. Belt. Guardbreaker, that's Guardbreaker if I want damage. Cloak. I gotta flex items because I don't really have an item augment. <gasps> Nikos, that's so good. Econ. The, um... Sona. Okay. If it's like this, then this is probably better. We're really close to Swain. Three star. I got the Galio back too. I'll wait one more turn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can wait one more turn. He's found a two star naturally. Scary. He has more damage eyes than me. Okay, take him down, good job. Take him down, good job. I should all in a bit more faster, maybe? Before he starts like uh, like using his econ? We'll see, we'll see. Do I go for Velkos now that we have Nico? That's also a good point, too. I can definitely consider going for Velkos. So, you, you know what, let's level to, let's level to seven and itemize Velkos here. That's a great idea. I think we can just go level seven and roll for a Velkazi. Transfusion, harm assist, young and wild and free. I probably want young and wild and free to get priority value. Nice, nice, not bad. And we're going to level up here, and I gotta roll for roll for like everything I can find. You out. Like this, okay. One off of Swain, that's good. One off of Swain. It would be nice if we could level to eight as well too. That would be great. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but it would definitely be great. So we're gonna use Nikas for Velkos 3 now. So as you can see, multicasts also need a bit of flexing. You can't just go for like TF every game. And this situation is way better to go for Swain Velkaz because I found Swain and Velkaz, then Galio into like Twisted Fae, right? My items are still a bit like, you know, funky, but I think we're in a good spot. Let's try to get the Swain 3 so we can maintain a streak. I want to maintain my streak, that's why. And because we're contested, like these aggressive reroll tactics is actually happening more frequently because we're this much contested. That's something you gotta do. Okay, okay. If you're contested, you want to roll way more aggressively than passively. Swing three. So I got the swing three. It doesn't look that bad. Shen is probably not gonna have his like a spot in limelight for a long time. So I'm just gonna use this for tempo. As such. Let's keep it here. Um we want more tank items and we also want more damage items. I think this is gonna be like gargoyles or like you know dragon claw. And this is probably gonna be jewel gauntlet. We'll see. Jump nice. Uh. Nice shot. <laughs> nice shots. Well, that is a scary Togoth for sure, not gonna lie. But wow, look at the backline just getting destroyed. 
This is a scary thing about multicast. Yeah, backline access. It's just ridiculously good. Now I think we can start saving up money. What? Get the tier. Let me use the restroom real quick. I think we're gonna make. I think we're gonna make like a like a like a chalice of power. <laughs> so now we're gonna save up. I can make adaptive helm because that does give me more mana and ability power. But it's such a bad item, you know. Do I really want to make that item? We'll see. It's better than making nothing. Because I have low HP. I'm not high in HP. I want to win. This is a sad thing about like a, like a Cruel Pact. I have to play items for tempo. And so like greeting for BIS itemizations. Because I just don't have the HP available to make that like happen. And I really don't think Adaptive Helm is like that bad for my composition at the ready. There are a lot of items that have similar roles. But, you know, TFT is all about BIS though. So <laughs> it can be bad in the long run. We're probably not going to hit 7. So this is probably our end game, right? So we hit our end game. How's the other multicast players doing? They're rolling at six and hitting their stuff. All right. That's why I was like kind of impressed. Take your sword for BFB better. Mm, if I get another sword, it's a problem then, because I can only make giant swords and hexagon gunblade, right? Nice. Ow. That's defiance on Nico. That's not that good. What? Okay. <laughs> That's not that good. Okay. If you're if you're like contested, because they're gonna take all the units out. It's better to use your money early. You get more money by spending it faster. Is it really What? Oh I get another Nikos. Yo, this was probably a three cost three star like a uh, like a game, a four cost like a three star game. I mean, so rap. So we get we're gonna get a rapid fire cannons here. All right. And, uh, TG? I don't want TG, right? I could get TG on Jarvan, maybe, but I don't think I want that. Maybe I'll wait for more itemizations in the future. Eh. Well, Rapid Fire kind of gives more attack speed, and it does give more, like, you know, damage output. So I guess it's not, like, that bad. Oh, but his items are better. Yo, item diff, item diff. Darn it, dude. And there your enemy. Get a sword. Capricious Forge. Capricious Force seems better because I don't have good itemizations, right? And that can go on to our fine, fine Jarvan here in the front. Wow! <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, um... I'll save one crit for... For... What do I want to do here? Ah, man, these items, dude. The moment, the one game you don't pick Pandora's. Just go TG and statics. Four bows, dude. Statics. Statics. Do I want statics? Statics, Jewel Gauntlet. I know, I don't need statics. I have, I have like, Swain. I can wait a bit. It's fine. TF wannabe. Nice. Shang's 18 with the tier 1 stuff for three months. Thank you very much, man. Hope you have a fine day. Nice to have you. Welcome, so welcome. We waiting, we waiting. At least there's a few good and easy matchups too. But still. I gotta roll before my enemies. Kake Bunshin no Jitsu? I'm actually close to Talia 3, huh? As I said, greeting items is really bad. What? What's that? Ow, ow, ow. Nice redemption value, though. Nice shots! 
Demasha. Nice shots, good work. He's going for a new misfortune like meta tech, but <laughs> I don't think he's that good. Velkaz? Velkaz 3 seems kind of important. No Velkaz? If no Velkaz. Oh! oh! Yes! Best case scenario. Best best case scenario. Okay. Velkaz with a rod. Boo yeah. Do I want to save Econ though? I don't see a point in saving Econ. Like, what do I use money for anyways? Yeah, there's no point in money. Let's just buy as much stone as in Twist Face as possible. I mean, I I'm stuck at this level anyways, and I can't really get stronger. Nice damage output. It's not BIS, but, you know, it's still something. And we're go, go, going, guys. Go, go, going. These items on Jarvan though are questionable. I mean, I want to. I need more tank itemization, so I went for that type of value. But still, the Masha is my home. You play a game where top one to four were all multicasters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. He oh man, melted so fast. I mean, he does have he does have like uh, like Rabadons and I have no resistance. Oh man. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Get him, get him, get him! Don't let him read that no no, do not let him redemption. <sighs> Ow. Oh, feels bad, dude. My god. Should I put Velkaz here? A good point, actually. You know what? We should put Velkaz in the corner. It's not like we get better radius in this location now, is it? Oh, uh, okay. That's good. I need more tank value, and I think Crown Guard is actually a very decent item. And going for, like, another, let's say, like, Jeweled. Okay. Maybe I can find more. Talia could be good too. Or maybe Talia is also good in this location as well. We'll try that. Who's the best restart carry? Honestly, they all work. Even Sona works if you get Sona first. Freeze. The purpose of money is to find three stars, so freezing is worth. Okay, it's a three cost three star versus your pathetic two cost two star. I win, I win, right? 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 Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Phew. Thank God. Oh, he's he's greeting Econ, that's why. Phew. <sighs> All right. Good work. Big diff, big diff. But that's because I only flexed items because like I, I was very low in HP because scroll packed. Nice stuns. Man, that Shen though. My lord. Okay. What? What? What was that? Okay, okay. Good job. Good job, Tally as well, too. Tally doing so much for us. Why, hello there, non multicast player with a good front line. Hello there, player that actually made a reasonable deck with Silco that is actually very well itemized and very well like a setup with the augments. It is I, the multicast player, yes! That made any random augments and just forced to come. Yes, it is I. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> uh, this guy with BIS on every unit uh, versus me making random stuff. Of course it's I that wins. B -b -b boo to the yeah yes let's go jump in hallelujah oh the the croup the what you call it crown guard was actually really good in our comp saves me a lot of hp 
Redemption also works really well with it too. Nice, 1,000 damage. Wow, this, this tech is so stable. He didn't reach the patch notes and he got lots with Zaya. That's sad. Twist of Fate. So we got, we just need two more TFs, good. There's 22 TFs in the pool, so even if he has TF3, it's still possible. Are they gonna hotfix? I don't know. There's been there's been worse metas <laughs> in the past that they didn't hotfix. I don't know. There has been way worse metas in the past. Honestly, I'm enjoying myself, so I don't have an issue. <laughs> you know what? Let's play multicast two weeks straight. 11 years worth of multicast contests. Why not? Why not? Multicast one day, multicast next day. What was that? Oh, it also shoots to the front? Cool. Crown guard, crown guard, alt. Nice work, nice work. Oh, he has so much healing, like what? Oh, yes, 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 no, no, no. <sighs> top five, top four? Are you winning? You winning, son? Nope. We're gonna keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Every single day we're gonna keep on rolling. Okay. I mean, if my items were better, then I think I would've won because Velkos is OP. I have two dead items on Velkos, right? That do similar rules to what I want, but you know, it's just still not good enough. Maybe that's how it goes. Key Ann with the raid for 1054, nice. You guys can see me flex so many different compositions this game. Great timing. Let's go, let's go. This is a legendary Swain comp, by the way. Mm -mm, yes. Swain is the main carry of this composition. Look at his Crown Guard and War Miles combo. Mm -mm, original. Yes. Original gameplay. Transform. This is a cruel pack into a level 6 rush, and then we found a lot of Velkas so we went for level 7 afterwards. Ah, uh, but our itemizations weren't that clean, so we did have to like a, like a, like a flex there. Hmm, hello there. Oh wow, this guy's the legendary Galio carry composition versus my legendary swing comp. Oh baby, I like that. Nice cruel pack into rush 6, into multi, I mean into a swing composition. Yes, yeah, works well, works well, I love it. <laughs> Honestly, you're gonna get a lot of LP for day one and day two if you just spam like multicast. They're just too strong. You don't even need three stars. Two stars is good enough. Boom. But it's only gonna work for two more days, guys. And two after two more days, people are gonna catch up. Adaptive helmet Nashers. I like Nashers with my current itemization setup, right? Let's go for Nashers. Mm, good. It's only gonna work for like maybe two more days at best. Oh wow. Oh wow. Getting there, getting there. Is the multicast good? Yeah, right now multicast are free top four. I, I've been only playing multicast and nothing else today. And I think that's how the meta should be played. Oh man, he's got the Sona. Let's hope we can survive the Curizel and maybe there's a Sona in the Curizel. We'll try to aim after that. Good stuff though, good stuff. Zanya's mana Zani, great combo. Cho Goth. Can we get through a Cho? Nice ult. Gazanya's proc. Cho Goth is more difficult to get through. Huh. We are killing everything else though. Oh no. Ah yeah, yeah. Close one. Nico actually taking down the multicast, huh? I mean he does have two Orn itemizations, Visage and Death Defiance into healing orbs. That's actually not that bad, too. Targon Nikos. What's the anti meta? That Nico tech actually does consistently against multicast. And honestly, if you just want to counter multicast, I think the easiest way is to go for. The easiest way is to go for rogues. Rogues do really well against multicast for sure. Come on, come on. Aw, oh, me and other guy.
So LTF and roll for Sona, and there's only one one Sona left in the pool. And if someone has one Sona in their shop, then the odds of me getting Sona 3 is impossible. So I think I'm just going to wait until here. That's not good. Ow. Actually, no, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It only scratches. Nice shots, nice shots, nice shots, nice shots, nice shots, nice shots. Nice... Uh, oh! Big brother. All right, we got top four, though. 